hey everyone, if you are like me and don't have the opportunity to actually live close to a bakery or for a fact even a French breaker to get good French bread or baguettes, don't worry, I'm going to show you guys something super easy, super simple you guys can do for amazing French baguettes, which I love bread a lot. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and let's get going. All right, everyone, this is pretty much just what you're going to need for the dough side of this. Uh, this is going to be a high hydration dough, so don't be afraid it's going to be sticky. So don't be afraid to get your hands wet first. We're going to get the yeast going. So here we want the water to be about 110 to 115 degrees. Then we're going to go ahead and take our yeast, throw it in there, throw our babies in there. Uh, here, this is the option. I took a teaspoon of the flour, threw it in there, and then I threw some honey in there just to give a little sugar for the yeast to activate a little bit easier. If you just have the packets, that's fine. If you have the whole little uh, big batch of yeast, uh, just do this to make sure your yeast is still alive and active. So let this set for five to ten minutes. Uh, while we do that, we're going to get our dry ingredients ready. So here we're going to take the salt, put it in there. We're going to give that a good mix up and get everything incorporated. Once everything is set up and ready to go here, you can take a big bowl your flour mixture in there after that you're going to take your yeast water and you can add it a little bit at a time so here i did about a couple tablespoons at a time got it a good mix you want to get everything incorporated as you go instead of trying to do it later so here add a little bit more make sure all the water is incorporated then add a little bit more and then kept doing that until all the water was ready and all the way in there Now that all of our water is incorporated in there, here we're gonna make sure I get all the little dough at the bottom, all the little flour at the bottom and everything's mixed in there. Then we're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes. Uh, just again, to give time for your flour to hydrate and make sure everything is good and ready to go. So once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and do our slap and folds here. This is pretty much a modified way to uh, need uh, you don't want to actually need this need this you want that air bubble in there um, This is gonna help with gluten development in there So here you're gonna do two sets of these after you're done doing this You're gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes and do do another set as you do this You're gonna see your dough start to become a little bit less sticky and a little bit more smooth over the top let, don't be afraid for the dough to stick to your hands. That's fine. That's how it's supposed to be Just put a little bit of water on your hands and then get it going Now that we did our last set of slap and folds, we're gonna let this sit for 30 more minutes. And then we're gonna do our first set of stretch and folds here. You're gonna pretty much just stretch the dough as far as possible and then fold it over itself. Um, here you're gonna do three sets of it. So this is gonna originally sit for two hours. 
So after you do your three sets, is let us set and rest for the, for the rest of the time. So after your three sets, I'll catch up with you after after you guys done your third set. Now that our third set is done, we're going to go ahead and lightly flour our work surface so the dough doesn't stick as much. Then we're going to take our dough out and put it onto the floured surface. Um, if you don't, then we're going to go ahead and measure our actual baguettes out here. Uh, we're going to be doing about 150 grams per, uh, per baguette. Um, just flour your hands and then you know flour your actual uh, bench scraper if you have one if you don't you can use a knife just flour it uh it makes it easier so it doesn't stick to your hands so here we're gonna go ahead and do about 150 grams per baguette Once we got all of our little baguettes weighed, we're gonna go ahead and make those into a beautiful little ball here. Um, you just pretty much using your workbench and your actual bench scraper into a little ball itself. And we're gonna set these two aside. And we're gonna let these rest for another 45 minutes with no cover. Um, this is gonna help the dough relax a little bit. Now that we let these rest for about 45 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and start forming, forming our actual baguette roll. So here, you're gonna take it, put the flour the top side down. You're gonna top, you're gonna fold the top towards the center. Uh, don't be afraid uh, to flour your hands some more. The top towards the center, and then you're gonna fold the bottom to the center. I just I just flip it because it makes it easier on me. I'm just gonna start forming this and we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go ahead and pinch the, the seam closed. And then we're gonna go ahead and start actually forming our actual little roll to however long you want it here. I made it about, uh, about 10 to 12 inches and you're gonna taper the ends here. Um, flour your hands as you go. This is gonna be a sticky dough, so don't worry. But try to be as gentle as possible. You don't want to be here and deflating your delicious French bread baguette. You know, don't be afraid. You know, these take a little bit of practice to do. So as you go, you know, they don't look perfect. That's fine. You know, that's the whole purpose of home cook cooking is learning. And, you know, it's not going to be it's not going to be, you know, bakery or restaurant quality, but, you know, that's what gives it its character. Now that our dough, our little dough is formed into our little loaves, you're going to go ahead and I don't have a, a couche or a couche. I don't know how it's said, but that's fine if you don't have one. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description of one that, uh, and flour it pretty well and you're going to take your pretty much your loaf on there make a little seam and you're going to let these rest for about another hour or so uh covered not in direct air uh once that happens you're going to go ahead and start getting these ready so once these are rested for a little bit you're going to go ahead and put your oven 
500 degrees and then go ahead and take a deep dish pan and put a good amount of water in there this is going to help create that steam effect that you want it's going to give you a nice crispy crunch on the outside of these these uh baguettes so here you're going to pretty much just roll them gently onto a pan with uh i use my little non-stick rubber matting if you don't have it that's fine you can use normal parchment paper on there These are on the pan. We're gonna go ahead and score these here. I'm using a lame or lime, I don't know what it's called, but if you don't have one, go ahead and use a sharp knife. You're gonna pretty much just score the outside of the bread, uh, not too deep, but deep enough. This is gonna help your bread, uh, the steam inside to escape and give it that nice uh, bread look on the outside. So after that, we're gonna go and take some water and spray the outside generously. This is gonna keep it from burning and it's gonna make that steam and make that crispy crust. After about 15, or after about five minutes, you're gonna take these out and you're gonna spray them again and then put them back into the oven until you get them a nice golden brown on the outside. That should take about 10 minutes or so. This pretty much uh, wraps up the video, guys. Uh, the hardest part for me is after I cook them is letting them sit and cool because I love me some bread. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to catch you guys back here next time. Don't forget to smash that like button. And so you don't miss out on any more how-to videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.